Good evening class, my name is Kyle Fuller. I'm a 2014 graduate of the uh, Sports Administration Master's Program at Wayne State University. Uh, Laurel asked me to talk to you guys a little bit about what it is I do and uh, how I got to this position uh, that I have now. Um, currently, I am the Director of Ballpark Operations for the uh, Kalamazoo Growlers baseball team uh, located in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, prior to that, uh, I started out as an intern with the Battle Creek Bombers baseball team. Um, and I got that by just, uh, I basically showed up one day, uh, dropped up, dropped in an application uh, in my resume. Uh, they called me later that day. Uh, we did an interview the next day. And uh, then that night, uh, they called me back and said they'd love to have me. So um, uh, I applied really early. Um, because of that, uh, they, they had me come in earlier than other interns, and they gave me a little bit more responsibility. Um, what I did was uh, ballpark operations. So before the season started, I would uh, hang up signs in the outfield uh, as well as clean up the, clean up the park. Uh, get the ballpark ready to to go for the upcoming season. A lot of my responsibilities in Battle Creek were around concessions, as they are here in Kalamazoo. Um, what what I did was I did a lot of inventory, uh, stocking, making sure concessions had everything they needed uh, for the upcoming season, uh, as well as setting the ballpark up for uh, for the upcoming games. I did a lot of uh, directing of other interns as as to as to what needed to be done for the upcoming season and upcoming games. Um, that's essentially what I will be doing in Kalamazoo as well. Um, the only difference is they, they pay me in Kalamazoo a lot better than Battle Creek. Uh, uh, at the end of the season in Battle Creek, uh, they offered me a stipend position uh, as a ticket sales rep. And uh, as the off season went on, the director of ballpark operations position here in Kalamazoo opened up and they, they offered it to me. Um, if you're not familiar with, with the Kalamazoo Growlers or Battle Creek Bombers, they are members of the summer collegiate baseball team or baseball league called the Northwoods League. Um, it's made up of 18 teams um, from Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota. Uh, there's one team in Canada. Uh, and uh, what it is is it's a summer league for college players that have remaining eligibility left. We able to get a lot of incoming freshmen, uh, sophomores, and, and a few juniors. Um, they come to leagues like ours and play uh, to improve their draft stock, uh, improve their 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 game as a whole uh, as college players, and then um, with the hopes of being being drafted in the upcoming draft. Um, um, players that have come from this league like Max Scherzer, Curtis Granderson, Andy Dirks, Drew Smiley, uh, they've all played in the Northwoods League. Um, so now as uh, Director of Ballpark Operations for the Kalamazoo Growlers, I do right now, uh, as we're leading up to the season, I do a lot of intern interviews, hiring interns for both uh, Kalamazoo and Battle Creek as the teams fall under the same ownership group. Um, and then um, I do a lot of meetings with, uh, with our suppliers, uh, such as Cisco, uh, Bells uh, Brewery, uh, Miller. Um, yeah, let's see, what else do I do? I do a lot of uh, ballpark um, layout plans, uh, you know, uh, uh, getting working through the logistics of, of uh, setting the ballpark up, uh, getting uh, concessions ready to go here in Kalamazoo this year. Um, do a lot of um, working through the ballpark menu, uh, what we can do here, what can't we do here, uh, just because of uh, we're kind of limited as because of our facilities. Uh, we don't have a, a, a true kitchen like some other teams do in the league. Um, um, last year, this team drew over 80,000 fans in 36 games. Uh, in Battle Creek, they had roughly 43,000, which was actually a team record for Battle Creek. Um, this will be Kalamazoo's second uh, second season. So we're looking to, to improve on 80,000 fans, um, which seems... Uh, crazy coming from Battle Creek. So roughly my workload just doubled when I got this job. Um, best piece of advice I can give uh, to, to people uh, looking for internships or, or going into internships would be to really take advantage of it and, and own it. Make it make their internship their own. Um, uh, 
I started out in Battle Creek and, and you know, all interns had a, had set hours. Uh, I had a little bit more responsibility, so I had to stay at the ballpark a lot longer. Uh, not because I had to, uh, but I wanted to because I wanted uh, everything to go smoothly and, and, and be ready for, for every home game as much as we could. Um, so, so yeah, that, that would be my best piece of advice is, is go above and beyond what they ask you to do. Show up early and stay late. Uh, you should just essentially really beat your boss to work and, and don't leave until he leaves or even, uh, in my case, I, uh, they gave me keys to the place. So I was there pretty much, uh, nearly 24 uh, seven. Honestly, what I did was I had a, I had a job in the mornings, uh, that I went to work at like Three in the morning, I got out of work at like 10. Uh, I'd go home real quick, and then uh, I'd be at the ballpark by 11 and often wouldn't leave uh, the ballpark, depending on if we had a game or not. If we had a game, I probably didn't get out of the ballpark until uh, 11.30, midnight-ish. Uh, if we didn't have anything going on uh, that night, I'd probably stay until 9 o'clock or so. Uh, but then I, I'd do that all again uh, pretty much seven days a week. Um, so my, my bosses in Battle Creek, the general manager, an assistant general manager knew how hard I was working and, and was amazed at how much stuff I could get done without any sleep, hardly ever. Um, and then, uh, you know, that transitioned into a, a ticket sales job in, in the off season, which, you know, helped keep me, kept me around, uh, the staff in the ballpark, uh, until their ballpark operations position opened up here in Kalamazoo. Um, so yeah, you know, take your, take your internship and make, make yourself stand out, uh, work, work as hard as everyone else does. Um, uh, the second piece, piece of advice I can give you is, is, uh, sports, uh, from what I learned at Wayne State and here as a real life experience, is it's all about the money. If you can go to an internship and you know, if you're working in sales and you can generate money uh, or revenue, that, that stands out uh, a lot. Um, as, as director of ballpark operations, my focus isn't necessarily revenue generating right now, but it's expense saving. It's, it's where can I find the best deals on on, uh, on food product for the ballpark and, and uh, where can I trade out uh, things uh, such as tickets or advertising for for food deals and whatnot. Uh, right now, one of our, our big deals isn't something that I'm working on, but um, the team is, is we are getting uh, uh, essentially a party deck built in our left field for um, total cost is gonna be right around, I think it's 100 grand and we're getting it done for about 15,000. Uh, that's that works out in partnership deals with advertising, uh, ticket deals as well. Um, one of our one of our big partnerships is with Lowe's. Uh, and then we got a partnership with a with the general contractor to, to, to actually build it. Um, so yeah, if if you can generate revenue or save on expenses, that's that's key. That's something I, I learned. Uh, in Battle Creek, um, just through my past experiences in life, I've become uh, pretty handy at, at fixing things and figure so prob problem solving. Uh, so I was able to f uh, save them a lot of small um, or relatively small expenses throughout the year just by being able to, to figure out problems on my own and figuring out creative ways to fix things. Um, so yeah, uh, use use all your life skills and, and, and things you've picked up on and learned uh, to, to help yourself through through an internship and, and find ways to, to stand out and uh, really, like I said, own it, make it your own. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. My email is kyle at battlecreekbombers.com. All right, thank you.